Hey everyone, today we're going to learn all about percents and we're going to use money and budgeting to help us understand this better. And the question I want you to kind of think about throughout this video is just how do proportions relate to percents? And I made a good video on proportions that if you haven't checked it out yet, you can. But I just want you to think about how these two relate to each other. And then at the end of the video, I'll come back to that question. Okay, so here's your budget. Let's say that you started a lawn mowing business in your neighborhood and you have made $1,000 from just continuously getting business in your neighborhood. And you want to have a good plan with that money. You don't just want to, you know, spend it without a plan and run out of money quickly because you didn't make a good plan for it. So that's where percentages come into play. So you might be telling yourself, well, I want to save 25% of it uh, just in a savings account. And so let's figure out how much money that would be. If you save 25% of the $1,000 that you've earned, how much would be going into a savings account? So I really like using a graphic for this to kind of make sense of percentages. So in this graphic, we know that 100% that represents the whole um, amount that you earned is $1,000, so I write that in there. And then I want to know 25%, so I make this like a strip diagram. So here's the little section for 25%. And then I can make some fractions out of this. So 100% and $1,000, that's one, that represents one part of this. And let's see if we can figure out 25%. And the denominator would be a mystery right now. We don't know it yet. So let's see if we can find any patterns. You're going to find out that percentages have patterns and rules in them that can really help us make sense of this. So how do you get from 100 down to 25? Okay, you divide by four. So that means we can do the same thing. This really brings back our skills of finding equivalent fractions um, to help us understand percents. So a thousand divided by four. Why don't you pause the video and find the answer to that? Okay, so I think we both got 250. So that means that 25% of the $1,000 is $250. So that just means I would be able to put $250. So that just means that you would be able to put $250 of your earnings into that savings account. Okay, so the next amount that you're wanting to budget your money with is 35% towards your business. So, you know, you're going to need to have money set aside to uh, buy the gas for your lawnmower, um, maybe buy some more tools that you need, and just have some money available for the things that you need when you need them. So let's bring up another graphic, another strip diagram to help us figure out what 35% of the thousand dollars would be. So why don't you pause the video this time and see if you can write in all the amounts on the strip diagram that go with this problem. So 35% of a thousand. Then we'll come back and check your work. Okay, see if your strip diagram looks like mine. And now we can also set up a fraction to help us understand the percentages. So we know, again, that 100% is 1,000. And we want to know 35%. Okay, so here's mine. See if yours looks the same. And then we can also set up the fractions to help us make um, some sense out of this. So we know that 100% is $1,000 again, and we want to know 35%. Now, sometimes you're going to be thinking, well, I can't think of a really easy pattern to go from 
the numerator, so 100 to 35. But you might notice a pattern within the fraction. So how can you get from 100 to 1,000? Yeah, that's an easy amount of just times 10. And so we can do that to the other fraction. So what is 35 times 10? Yeah, 350. So that means you have $350 set aside to build your business. You know, whatever tools or um, things that you need to build your business, you'll be able to have money set aside for that. Okay, now how much percentage of your $1,000 do you have left uh, to work with? So I want you to pause the video and see if you can figure out how much of your money is left. What percentage, anyways? Okay, so you have 40% left, and let's just say that you were waiting to see how much you have left and putting that towards, you really have been wanting a PS5, so you're going to put that money towards that. So now we just need to figure out how much money do you have to put towards that PS5. So let's make another strip diagram with this time 40%. So I want you to try to fill out that strip diagram again. See if you can fill it out the way I would. Okay, so there's mine. See if yours looks the same. And then once again, we're going to make some fractions to help us figure this out. So once again, 100% is $1,000. 40%. See if you can figure out that amount using one of the pattern strategies that we've done in the last two. Okay, let's see if you got the same thing. I got $400. So not quite the cost of a PS5, but it's definitely a really good start. And you can continue your business and earn the rest of the money that you need to buy a PS5. So that's awesome. Okay, now I think we're ready to move over to the whiteboard and try some more percentage problems. All right, so for our next problem, we're gonna be trying to find 20% of 2,000. And so I drew a diagram to help us think through this. So here's my 100%. I'm going to, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm gonna make a section that looks about like 20%. Okay, then I know that the the total is 2,000, so I'm gonna put that over here by 100%. And then this is the amount we're trying to find. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make some fractions like we've been doing. So I know 100% is 2,000, 20% is some amount. Okay, I'll put an X there to represent what we don't know yet. So now I just like to look for patterns. So why don't you pause the video, see if you can find a pattern that could help you solve this problem. Okay, so you could be thinking a couple different things. You could be thinking of a pattern going this way. So 100 divided by something equals 20 and then you could do the same thing here. Or you could be thinking of a pattern going from 100 up to 2,000. So there's a pattern there, we could do that to 20. So let's first, let's try this first way though. So 100 divided by five is 20, so I can do the same thing to my denominator and I'll get this amount right here. Okay, so if you chose that way, then you probably did this division problem and you get 400. So that means that 400 is 20% of 2,000. Okay, and now I wanna come back to that question that I asked at the beginning. So how do proportions relate to percents? Did you notice that throughout this lesson? Okay, so some of you are probably saying, well, yes, they relate because we can make proportions like this right here to help us think through a percent problem. 
I hope this video helps you in your math class or at home. See you next time.